Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you all with a brand new drop list, a brand new cap list I should say man because my game plan has been entirely destroyed. I actually just recorded this entire video, did a cute little intro, all that nice stuff, and I set a little demonic like goal, 666 likes, I'll get the Duraflame log, you know, the one item we've had previewed all week. I get to the end of the video, there's no Duraflame log dropping this week. So, uh, unfortunately, that means I'm gonna have to go buy something ridiculously financially irresponsible. I mean, I don't have to do that, but I mean, you guys know me, I have to do that. So, 666 likes, I will be going and buying this $500 puffer jacket. I can't believe I'm actually saying that because I did not think I was gonna be dropping $500 on one item tomorrow. But you guys can make me do it. Just drop a like on the video. Let's get into this drop list. Let me know if you guys are gonna be going for anything this week, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy Live Cop tomorrow. I'll see you all there. Let's get into the video. So as always, I do have to quickly remind you guys, if you want to come join my private cook group browser where you can get a free autofill, my resale predictions every week, monitors, we have everything you need to take resale into the next level. Just hit the link in our description or you can also DM us on Instagram, but let's begin with this video. So our first item of the week, first stop, retails boys. Oh, they're so beautiful. Look at them numbers, bro. So gorgeous. So. First off, we have the pocket knife, um, 64 bucks, a little bit steep. Pretty disappointed with that. Um, I honestly was gonna be recommending this as a super solid multi-cart item, but at this point, 64, that's about 70 after tax. It's gonna have to be a skip from me. If you do go for this, I'd go for the black color. Um, I mean, it's definitely like a solid item, but I don't know, man. The retail kind of destroyed this one. It is a letdown. But moving on, we already have a Timberland item top upvoted. That is definitely a rare sighting. This is the number two item on the drop list. And I understand why. Like I said in the intro, I'm really not that mad about this collab. Like I've already seen some people clowning on it as per usual. And at the end of the day, I don't really think I'm gonna be buying anything. However, I gotta give credit where it's due. Supreme definitely did something slightly different for this collab. Now this hoodie, is kind of on track with what we usually see from these collaborations, both brandings stuck together. I really don't like the Timberland logo. That's usually the big miss for me on these collabs. But uh, Timberland did take a page out of the Stone Island textbook and put the little logo on the side. I also like the little hit they got on the pocket in the front. And a pretty solid colorway range. I definitely would have liked to see olive instead of this horrific blue that somehow keeps making an appearance this season. If you did go for one of these, I would really just recommend the purple, maybe even the tan um, or the black. I've definitely seen some love for this purple though. Uh, I'm gonna be skipping on these. I don't see much profit. Like it's definitely the type of hoodie you're gonna have to hold on to for several months. I just don't think it's worth it. I'd rather save your money. Like I said, pretty decent item. Definitely better than what we've seen before. So moving on, definitely the item of the week. And this is maybe even one of the top items of the season, the Lafayette reflective down jacket. Now, if you guys don't know what this all over print is referencing, this was actually an alien workshop. Uh, I think it was like a screening for a new skate film they're doing outside of the Supreme Lafayette location. Here is the actual photo itself. If you guys have been to the Lafayette location, you would know they have like a TV that kind of shows, or they used to at least, a TV playing in the display window. So that's where I'm guessing they're all watching this off of. I think it was a pretty dope idea to take this photo, put it on all over Puffy, and they're like, fuck it, man, like, make that shit 3M too. The only thing that sucks about that is it creates a $450 price tag. Like, I, you guys know I'm big on these Puffies, but four. 50 retail bro that is ridiculous we do have a classic logo on the back side however i think this is a printed on logo um i mean this is definitely a sick jacket and probably one of the highlight items of the season i wouldn't be shocked to see some profit but man for a 500 retail item after fees i don't know if that profit is going to be quite worth it I'm tempted to go for one of these just because I so badly want to see them in hand and I am pretty positive if you're able to hold on to this several months, this jacket could mature up to like 600, maybe like 700 even, but I really don't see like right away crazy profit for this. It should be pretty limited. The fact it's all over print, 3M, there's one colorway. This definitely has the makings to be a pretty special jacket. However, it might be kind of a bricky road to actually get to a decent profit margin that makes this retail worth it. Let me know if you guys think I should go for this jacket. Jacket. It's honestly up to you guys. I think it's super dope and I do think it's a good cop for those able to hold on to some big baller item. But at the end of the day, I don't see a ton of right away profit.
profit unless you get like an XL or something man if you get the right size for this it should do pretty well I really wonder how quickly it's gonna sell out um, obviously it's dependent on stock which I'm guessing is gonna be pretty low so uh, definitely some potential on this jacket but obviously most of the people that watch these videos cannot afford that retail so let's keep it moving so moving on we have the Supreme Timberland reversible jacket and this by far is the best item from this whole collab I've seen some people on my discord hating on this one man and like I understand boots all over print kind of a goofy idea but come on you guys this is such a step up from any design we've ever seen between these two companies this including shoes that is they've done some pretty dope Tim shoes but the clothing's usually really weak this is honestly a really sick jacket man you got a super clean cargo jacket right here on one side um, ton of branding hits all over and then you go to the reverse side first off the colorways on the fleece side they absolutely killed it man like I'm almost disappointed we have not seen more of these colorways for some of the other fleeces this season like I'm positive those Celtic knot jackets would have done better if we had gotten an olive tan colorway like this like this jacket color I love it bro I honestly am tempted to go get one of these however I will say the all-over boot print it's not my favorite look it's a little bit loud but it is a clever way to do branding so it looks like wait this is on like the blue one let me look at that yeah dude this is a sick jacket I certainly get why people are hating on some of this stuff but at the same time like what are your expectations man if this is still really lame to you between Supreme and Timberland I don't know what you're expecting probably like some box logo or something this is a really solid jacket will it resell that is honestly a tricky one. This might be one of the bigger gamble items of the week because it is a fleece, it is reversible. We really never see reversible fleeces that have like such a sick uh, non-fleece side. Like those cargo pockets, definitely gonna help it out. I would really just say go for XL on this one. Like I do think there is some chance for it to have some profit, but I'm not confident enough to go out and tell you guys to buy this and you'll 100% make some bread. So go for it in XL. You could definitely multi-card it. I'd either be going for the all black colorway or that blue. I I think the blue is probably my favorite man I am kind of tempted to go for one of these but I think it's gonna be a pass let's keep it moving next up the established 1994 six panel and you boys know man we were going crazy about these week one I think I ended up with three of these tees from the first week I was religiously saying this is going to be the best reselling t-shirt I don't think I was wrong about that um, this is definitely gonna do well for the hat as well now the hat will probably start off slower than the tee the tee honestly went up in its price pretty quick um, and this this hat by the end of the season could be around 80 plus bucks uh, especially if you get the right colors man black olive and purple those are the only three colors I would bother with on this one and I honestly think a lot of people should go get this hat this week I am really confident with it you got solid branding box logo good colorways all around a really good multi card item these shouldn't fly or anything but if you're trying to get like a couple decent resale items this week this should be in your cart no question 48 retail should at least be selling for like 65 after the release and like I said you could even maybe see this hit like 90 plus in one of these colors really clean hat I'll probably get one in like the olive color um, glitter short sleeve top we don't do glitter over here I'm sorry boys next up the ecstasy hoodie this is a freaking weird one man we got someone just busting a nut what? back in like the Renaissance or some shit I don't know what's up with this design um, no it's not gonna resell I just thought it was kind of a funny name and graphic. Moving on, the Lady Pink Supreme Tray. As much as I love this print, unfortunately, Supreme Ashtrays, or at least like non-logo ones like this, they just do not really have profit. Um, you can look at so many solid ashtray designs, like the freaking Akira trays, they were like a whole rolling plate. Those took like three years or so just to get to double retail, while the rest of that collab's like, 10x what retail was this is gonna be a pass I think it is a really cool item and the retail is not bad but it is gonna be decently small and like I said supreme ashtrays just don't really have profit it has to be like a logo one for it too next up the supreme Timberland rugby I would be passing on this I do not see profit and it goes the same for these pants as much as I love um, the jacket the pants at 188 you're just really not gonna see profit on top of that moving on we got the Mitchell and Ness sequin logo varsity jacket now I think this thing is putridly ugly I really am not digging the whole sequin stuff however the black colorway you guys knew I was gonna say it um, there is like a slight bit of potential in like an XL or something I'll be passing on this one completely but these Mitchell and Ness kind of logo jackets we've seen them do them before they usually have some type of resale so um, I mean if you wanted to go for a black XL I don't think it's a horrible idea 
but you will be holding on to it for a bit and it's nothing I recommend for the masses. So yeah, this is a pass. Uh, Lady Pink Skateboard, $60 decks, no thanks, man. Um, unfortunately, these are gonna be a pass. They are pretty cool, but uh, maybe as like a set, you'd get some money for it. I'm saying don't even bother. Now we have a bunch of hats coming up next. Uh, crochet beanie, maybe the black. I'll probably, like, may actually, you know what, man? I will say the whole crochet part of it gives it some chance to have profit. Uh, I don't even know what color to say. I'd go with the black just because obviously most wearable. This one's low key intriguing. Might be like a sleeper multi card item. Don't expect much profit. Probably like double retail. Uh, the Supreme Timberland hat. These are going to be passes. Uh, the radar beanies straight out of uh, 2004 are like not even close to being on my radar. Does anyone still rock these style beanies? I'm curious because uh, I don't know. They're not for me. I do remember there was a point in my life I thought they were cool. The ear flap caps, uh, these are pretty cool, but no, not gonna have profit, man. Glitter beanie, uh, definitely not. Leather jeans for $400. Let me think about that. Fuck no, bro. Are you serious? Like, Playboy Cardi fans, maybe. Leather shirt, get out of my face. And somehow, bro, like, this shit just, it gets old at this point. It seems almost every single week, like, my favorite items near the very bottom. This week, it's at the bottom. We got the Lady Pink trucker hat. If you made it to this point in the video, congratulations, because this is getting my resale stamp of approval, and this is gonna get slept on. The fact it's all the way at the bottom of this list. Now, have we not learned anything about Supreme Truckers yet, folks? I don't know. I was, again, preaching religiously week one to go get the trucker. All I know is I did not see a single other soul putting on for that trucker the same way. It ended up being one of the best resale items of the week. This probably won't have as crazy a profit, but would not be shocked to see these at 70 plus quickly. Um, trucker hats with Supreme, they just do well. Uh, any color for this, I'd probably skip camo. I kind of like the blue, uh, black or blue. The pink's even pretty sick, man. Pink might be the best selling. Just get one of them this week if you do go for a cart because this is definitely worth multi-carting. It will probably be a little bit more of a hold than the week one trucker, but I would be dumbfounded if these weren't at minimum at 70 bucks at the end of the season. They'll probably be higher before then, but that's gonna do it for this week. Definitely not a glamorous week. Um, many of you should probably sleep in, but that being said, man, there's still some pretty good multi-cart items. If I was trying to get like a free shipping cart this week, without a doubt, crochet beanie, lady pink trucker hat, established 1994 six panel, and after that, I don't even know what the fourth item should be. Maybe just like some Hanes boxers. They low-key have profit at the end of the season. I know that's a disgusting card to tell you guys, but I do think that's the best way to get like a decent card this week, get free shipping and still have some profit. Definitely a week for most to skip, but we're still gonna be there on the website copping a $500 jacket. I like, God damn it, bro. But I'll see y'all later. It's Boo. I hope you guys did enjoy, man. I'm out. Peace.